Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am going to work on a mixed media spread today. A good friend of mine, Jackie, who is Lady J Crafty 2016 here on YouTube, is hosting a birthday challenge. What she is asking for is an eight and a half by 11 page um, that reflects who you are and tells her a little bit about you. So I pulled out some of my favorite things as well as some things I haven't worked with for a little while and that I want to work with today. I really don't have a plan for this page except I'm just going to use what's here hopefully and maybe pull in a couple of other items from here and there but I'm going to try to limit myself to what's here because I don't want to overwhelm myself so what do I have I have some wallpaper I have some distress oxide sprays the colors I have are broken china stormy sky speckled egg and mowed lawn I have a couple of die cut books from art by Marlene I have the die cut paper frames and I have the double uh, XL collector's book of die cuts as well and then what I did for a base is I pulled a page from one of my mixed media uh, books just went to the middle of the book and pulled the page out and that's how I have this I'm gonna do some cutting obviously because she asked for eight and a half by 11 I'm going to make it slightly uh, narrower than eight and a half because I want it to slide into her page protector um, comfortably she is going to house these in kind of like a project folder with page protectors so I don't want something exactly eight and a half by eleven because I don't want any resistance when she is putting it in her book and I also have to work to keep it relatively flat no dimension because I do want it to fit in her project book so let me clear my desk I think what I want to do is use the wallpaper on the inside of the double page I don't know is this what is this called is this a folio or is this like just a little double page spread I don't know whatever it is this is what we're working with I am thinking I want to line the inside with the wallpaper but I don't want to send her anything that's kind of half done. So I need to do something with the outside. Before I do any cutting, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm gonna use my Distress Oxide Sprays on the outside. So let me start with some water. You know what, I'm just gonna work on the whole page. Thought maybe I would do one side at a time, but why? Why do that? Let's start with, oh boy, I did not cover my desk. Let me take a minute to cover my desk because I don't want spray everywhere. I mean, I have dried spray everywhere, but let's try not to make a bad situation worse. My desk is a hot mess, so I'll be right back. Boy, it's a good thing I put the um, cover down because I just sprayed my entire desk. I'm going to take a second to just wipe the nozzle from my bottle so it doesn't clog. You know what I think I'm going to do? Because why not? Okay. Just gonna move this around a little bit. Don't always let it just do its thing. I, I kind of like <laughs> interfere and make it do what I want it to do. Let 
I'm gonna dry this, add another layer. Use some mowed lawn. Gotta trust the process. I know it looks a little wild right now. <laughs> pooling here at the bottom so I'm just going to use this same paper towel to just clean that up a little bit do some more drying I'm going to go back to the blue Maybe this time I'll add a little bit of broken china. I don't want to cover everything. You know, except my desk. <laughs> In paint. Just put a little bit of water up here and then dry that Some more green I'm gonna go back to the mold lawn just brighten that up a little bit more I'm going to go right in with the speckled egg. A little bit of water just so that it moves around a little bit. just create some I'm going to create some of that beautiful effect that these oxide sprays are known for I'm going to just drop some pretty large water droplets and just let them it for a couple minutes not even that just for a few seconds it's only a couple of minutes and then um, go in with my towel and just lift it up and hopefully it will create some beautiful distressed oxide effect so you can see it forming maybe you can't see it here that's what I love about these sprays. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Love that. Do the same over here. gorgeous so we're gonna leave it at that we're gonna keep it simple I'm just gonna clean up a little bit get the spray off my desk <laughs> and um, get some archival ink because I didn't pull archival ink I think what I want to do is use my archival ink to frame some of well it's just frame this 
Uh, I love doing that because I think by having dark um, on the edges, it kind of draws your eye to the center and you can um, better enjoy the um, color in the center. So let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. I know it looks crazy right now, but it will come together at the end. It's part of what I love about mixed media. You have to be really chilled about it. You can't be easily stressed by things. And you just have to understand and accept that for the most part you have zero control over what happens and how the inks and sprays play together. You have some sense just based on experience of using it or watching tutorials or whatever the case may be but you absolutely 100% cannot predict what it's going to do. Sometimes you end up with happy accidents. Other times it's an absolute <laughs> catastrophe. But, you know, even if it's a catastrophe, you would have learned something from it, right? So now that this is, this is dry, I'm going to get some tape. we have I'm sure we can find something in here that'll work I actually like this one so we're gonna go with this yeah I think that'll look really pretty gonna run this across my glue stick or at least try to get some extra glue on there I mean this is pretty decent quality washi tape I think this one is by um either Dean or Wakely or Diane I'm not sure which but oh washi tape can always benefit from a little extra help Now before I cut this um, front cover to create a shape, I think I'm just going to apply the wallpaper on the inside because it's easier to apply it as a whole and then cut it to the shape than it would be to cut the shape and then try to cut my wallpaper to match the shape if that makes sense so let me get the wallpaper this is the wallpaper I'm going to use it's really pretty it's not quite wide enough as you can see but that's okay because I will be cutting some of that off for you it has been a blink of an eye and for me it's been a week <laughs> so I got called away 
and never made it back. So I'm going to try to remember where I left off. Um, I did trim this to even it all out. And then I put it in my book press. I think that's where I left it off. So after I removed it from my book press, a couple of things I, I need to correct here. It looks like the wallpaper buckled a little here. Can you see that? That's probably because I put it in my book press <laughs> when the glue was still wet. Not a good idea. It is what it is. The way I'm going to fix that is with some of this washi tape. I think it'll work out just fine because my plan is to cut this side of the spread into a curvy type pattern. So I think the break down the center will be just fine. So let me, let me do that now. I need to find my glue. I do have a glue stick. I do. Where is it? Ooh, that, oh, it's behind my water bottle. <laughs> it's about to say that's so bizarre. I always put it in the same spot. How did I lose it? I didn't. I just uh, couldn't see it. Oh my goodness. So today is Saturday. Gloomy, rainy day outside. So what better day to spend in my craft room than today? Hopefully, I will be able to finish this project today. I don't know. My kid has a birthday party in a couple of hours, so I will have to pause to drop him off at that. And he will probably interrupt this video at some point before that because he was up all night crocheting a gift for his friend. And I don't think he's wrapped it yet. So <laughs> at some point, he will seek me out to figure out how he's going to wrap it. And also seek me out for a birthday card. So if you hear someone calling out, that's what that is. Could line it up with that but I think I'm just going to trim it okay I'm not sure why these scissors are here oh I know why because my Tim Holtz scissors are packed away in my Girl Scout go bag. I have been doing individual team meetings with my Girl Scouts in preparation for their gold award. A lot of prerequisites that have to be met before they can go for their gold. And each of the scouts are at different points, needing different things to qualify. So it makes sense to have smaller group meetings so they are more focused on what those individuals need instead of one big group or troop meeting where it's a lot of just general stuff but the flip side of that is a lot more meetings. So I have been doing them for the most part on Saturdays. Kind of holding what I call office hours at my local public library. And depending on what the needs of the particular group I am meeting with. I have different bags packed. <laughs> so I call them my Girl Scout Go Bags. I am pleased to say most of them 
have checked off their prerequisites. I think I have maybe four left that still need to do a take action project, but for the most part, all of them are done. Those four will be done by mid-October because we have some things planned to help them satisfy their prerequisites. So I am comfortable starting to unpack <laughs> those go bags and then I can have my scissors back. Okay, so that looks better looks better still see some creasing but it's not as obvious and I think once this is cut it will be okay now my plan for the front was to do some stamping but I don't have black soot embossing glaze and I don't know if that's because I never bought it or it just hasn't come out but Either way, I don't have it. So, a little bit of a change of plans for the front. I think I'm going to create um, that curve shape and also a scene. So, I'm going to use some of this wallpaper. I have my sky. I'm going to use some of this wallpaper to create my ground because I do like to ground my images. So, I cut a nice size. Should fit. It's a little bigger than what I need, but that's okay. I will glue it on and then it'll be trimmed and that'll be fine. Then I have these cheapy <laughs> decorative edge scissors. They were like part of an entire set, but I like these because it kind of looks like um, grass blades. <laughs> so it's a simple, easy way to get that look of grass without having to get my um big shot out and one of my blades not big blades my cutting dies this will work it's fine i did do a test cut on another piece of wallpaper so i knew it would work with the wallpaper Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. Probably going to ink the edges of this. So I'm gonna try not to stress it too much. Okay, is it even straight? My God, it's not straight. <laughs> Let's try that again. I am the queen of crooked cuts. Okay. Focus. That's as good as it's going to get. Let me get my... I think I want some green. Green, 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 green. Green distress ink. Let's try mowed lawn. It's pretty standard green for me when it comes to grass. We will start there. Maybe I will also something a little darker let's go with pure paint pure paint is pretty good too is that necessarily darker yeah I say it is yeah for sure Okay, I will do some water drips. I don't think I'm going to get much of an oxide. I'm sorry, a distress effect. But 
Let's see. We'll let that sit. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? Instead of picking up those water droplets with the paper towel, I'll just try it with my heat tool. Oh, that's so pretty. What a nice effect. Nice. Hopefully my studio lights, studio lights are not blowing this out and you can see, but it's a really nice, there you go, effect. Okay. I'm not going to put glue all the way to the top edge. I'm going to leave that so that I can tuck things behind it if I want to. That's just me anticipating what often happens is I think I'm going to take a project one way and somewhere along the lines I want to say I guess I should say somewhere <laughs> along the way I change my mind or something happens and we have to pivot so I'm going to leave some room for me to pivot I really do need to let me I'm gonna go to one of my go bags and get my Tim Holtz scissors because those other scissors are just not doing it for me. I got my scissors. I'm a happy camper now. <laughs> I need my scissors. You know what? <sighs> Truthfully, kind of silly for me to trim this right here because <laughs> I plan on cutting the edge. So, <sighs> oh boy. That was like a unnecessary step, but at least now I have my scissors. Okay, so I think I am at a point now where I can go ahead and cut that shape. This is a Dilutions ruler, and I love this curvy edge right here. It's perfect for... Drawing guidelines. For me to cut along and get a nice curvy edge. Question is how much do I want to trim? Hmm. I think about, hmm, about where the tape is should work. cut along that line okay I can definitely use this for something else we will put that off to the side yeah really like that definitely going to ink that with some, let's see. Ground espresso. Or do I want to find a blue? I think I want a blue. 
I want a blue. yeah and while I have this color out I might as well ink the other side so part of Jackie's challenge is that we tell her a little about ourselves so Personally, I don't like to put a lot of personal information about me in my projects. So I'm going to definitely add some things about me, but nothing too personal. On this side, I am just going to add maybe some sticker quotes that I think best <laughs> relate to me and uh, the road I travel in life. <laughs> and on this side, it'll be a collage, a framed collage that... Um, is reflective of my style. Okay, I think that works. Let me, I should wipe this surface down some because I can feel that it has some stickiness to it. Under normal circumstances, we care, but I don't want anything to, to get on. I don't want any like inky spots or stains on my project now that I am getting to the decorating and embellishing part. 